What's up everybody? This is Spencer with Toe to Toe Firearms here in Conway. And today I've got a uh, Savage, uh, I'm sorry, Ruger American uh, Generation 2, which doesn't say anywhere on the rifle, but this is second generation Ruger American, chambered in 350 Legend. Uh, on top of it here, I've just got a uh, Sig Sauer Romeo MSR. It's what I happen to have with me. Uh, no idea if it's zeroed or not. Just gives me kind of a point of reference of aim. Uh, just going to take a few shots with it. Uh, show, go over some of the features. Um, give a general, uh, just a, a quick review. First, uh, first impressions kind of thing. Uh, got sling swivels. Uh, built into the stock. This is a synthetic stock, uh, very lightweight. Got a nice padded, uh, a nice cushioned recoil pad here. Nice uh, rounded uh, cheek comb. The safety here is a little bit interesting. Uh, if you're not used to it, it, you can see it's got three positions. There's fire, safe and super safe uh, so don't get excited when you hear three positions it's not a fun switch on a bolt action rifle um, the if you see the two white lines here that is in super safe meaning the bolt is locked you can't open the can't even open the bolt if you go up to where you see one white that releases the bolt, but the trigger is still locked. And of course, if you go up to where you see the red line on the bottom here, that's your fire position. Um, on this side, you've got this is your bolt release. So you push that, and your bolt comes out for cleaning and maintenance. This has what appears to be, what appears to me, to be the, uh, the Accu trigger uh, or something very similar to it. Uh, what I've felt of this earlier, um, that is a very light, crisp trigger, just like the Accu trigger. Um, this has for the magazine release, just like an AR. Uh, AR style rifle. It's got the bolt release right there. That's because it uses standard AR magazines. Uh, this is a five round magazine. Um, you can throw it any AR magazine you want in there and it'll work just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and load this up. A uh, couple of other features real quick before I do that. Uh, this has got a 16 inch barrel. Uh, very interesting looking break up here. Uh, interested to see how that does. And you can see a nice fluted barrel here. Uh, doesn't necessarily serve any mechanical function, but it does save on weight and it makes the, barrel, it makes the rifle look very nice. So I'll go ahead and, get, and load this up, take a few shots. Uh,
first impressions uh, very concussive with this short barrel uh, and this interesting style muzzle brake here um, however I will say that that seems to uh, help quite a bit with recoil uh, can't really say what it does for muzzle climb or helping to keep the the rifle uh, centered as you're taking the shot because I'm shooting off of a bench here but uh, again it's a bolt action rifle so that really doesn't matter a whole lot um, I gotta say I like it a uh, little bit more recoil than I was expecting but I kept forgetting it's got a really short barrel on it too I'm used to shooting uh, something like this it's got about a 24 inch barrel on it um, overall I like the rifle um, I especially like the fact that it takes standard AR mags uh, of course this is specific to the 350 legend cartridge um, if you get a uh, 556 magazine or a 300 blackout magazine it's got that little dimple in the front there uh, to help guide the, the nose of the bullet uh, 350 legend being a straight walled cartridge so This is 350 legend. This is 556 you can see the case diameter is very similar uh, but the 556 no, uh, next down uh, of course into a 22 caliber round uh, where this stays a 35 caliber round um, if you were to load a five five, load this up with five five six. Uh, when you get enough of them in here, the bullet would have a tendency. The bullets would have a tendency to move around in there and be unstable. So, on a five five six or three hundred blackout magazine, there's a dimple in the front here that helps guide the the nose of the bullet. You can't have that with the three fifty legend. Uh, so they, the 350 Legend has its own specific magazine, but it is a standard AR magazine. Um, guys, if you like this kind of content, hit the like and subscribe button. Come check us out at 807 Building Drive. Give us a call at 501-515-4788. And if there's anything you'd like, us to, uh, like to see us do in video, future videos, leave a comment down below. And uh, if it's something we can accommodate, we'll try to do that for you. Guys, have a good day.